Joining me now is Congressman, Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson and Cynthia Tucker. Thank you both for joining me. Good to be yes, here, thanks. Reverend. Congressman, this will be the third time Republicans voted on a version of the Ryan budget, and it might be the worst one yet. How do you explain these Republicans in the House? Well, the budget should have been relegated a long time ago to the septic tank of history. But here it is still with us. It's bad for seniors. It's bad for children. It's uh, bad for um, everyone, even white guys. And you wonder why they keep bringing it back over and over again. It raises the debt by $6 trillion. That's $20,000 for every man, woman, and child in this country. Wow. For the sake of giving a $4,000 tax break to millionaires. The Republicans are literally trying to bribe millionaires with their own money. Now, you know, Congressman, today during the budget debate, House Republicans actually insisted that government spending can't create jobs. Take a listen. We're not promoting additional stimulus as the budget that's being proposed right now is. A giant proposal for additional spending did not help us several years ago. Jobs do not come from additional federal spending long term. But, Congressman, new polls show Americans of both parties want the federal government to spend to create jobs. 91% of Democrats and 63% of Republicans support it. A federal government program that would put people to work through infrastructure repairs is what they support. And 93% of Democrats and 56% of Republicans support the federal government spending money to create more than a million new jobs. This is just a fact. And they are saying government doesn't create jobs. Government spending will not do it. Well, I think that it shows that the public has a much better grip on reality than the Republican Party does. And look at state after state where the Republicans have been in charge. They've cut government spending in those states. And they've laid off firefighters. They've laid off teachers. They've laid off police officers. They laid off all sorts of public servants and destroyed those jobs. And in those states, like mine, like in Florida, unemployment has remained high. I'm not going to get into some abstract debate about whether government spending creates jobs, because we've seen with our own eyes for the past few years, and we're about to see again with the federal sequester, that cutting government spending definitely destroys jobs. And that's what we're going to see right now. We have a $14 trillion economy right. with $13 trillion of demand. And the government has been making up the difference. If the government stops, then this economy will collapse. Maybe the Republicans will be happy because there'll be a reserve army of 25 million unemployed people. But as for the middle class in America, that's going to be all over. But a congressman, you know, we saw you going to Boehner's office with petitions for 300,000 signatures about ending the sequester. But who's going to fight them on these the need for jobs the need to stop this nonsense i mean are you going to take them on who's going to stop this nonsense in congress well i'm hoping that the 750,000 people at a minimum who lose their jobs because of the republican sequester will take them on i'm hoping that the three million people who may end up losing their jobs because the 750,000 people have no money left to spend on their rent on housing on health care on food uh, all, all the things that keep other people employed. I'm hoping that they're complaining about it too. And we did take 300,000 petitions directly to Boehner's office to show them that at least there's 300,000 people in this country with their eyes wide open who understand that if we stop this, if we cut these jobs, we're ending. We're going to end up hurting ourselves. And, and this notion that the the Recovery Act didn't do any good is just nonsense. In my neighborhood, the Recovery Act paid to replace the trailers that my children were going to school in. I have five children who are right. in public school in Orlando. They were going to trailers, and we replaced that with a brick building. Well, a, you the can't tell me that that money the, is the going impact, to The people that know the impact of the recovery are those that needed to be recovered. The very wealthy had nothing to recover from, so they don't know what the recovery was. Congressman Alan Grayson and Cynthia Tucker, thanks for your time tonight.